Coming back to Earth, dreams. Throughout the night time, we have a myriad of dreams, many, many dreams, dream experiences. Some that feel as real as this, others as a memory like something happened yesterday. And that's because it most likely did. When we dream, we have experiences beyond the body in the dream state, in worlds that are in the non-physical. These could be places such as, like places and, and levels of, of experience, or I don't really like the words dimension, but like a reality that is fabricated from our own subconscious of our negative, positive, worries, subconscious, our likes, our desires, our concerns, our challenges, um, past traumas, excitement, dreams, experiences, things that have happened or things that we wish we could have done or would like to do. All these different feelings of mental, physical, emotional things manifest itself in an energetic reality that is fabricated in that time and solidifies in such a way that we get to experience it but doesn't exist forever it's just we're in this cloud of this experience in our own in our own setting so coming back to earth when you wake up in the morning and you've experienced a dream experience that you can't really describe but it's happened you come back to reality <laughs> and you wake up and you probably feel very tired you probably start to remember things throughout the day of that experience but coming back is like you have been somewhere else and coming back in your bed or where you're waking up wherever you're waking up you have a feeling of being that, oh, I was away for a long time, I've just been somewhere. And that is all down to our own choosing, you know, of us remembering. Now, dreams are very powerful tools, very powerful experiences that are very valuable in our waking life, of our earthly life. Dreams allow us to filter out the bad and the good and the ugly and to allow us to filter out our worries, concerns and our thoughts and allowing our invisible friends, our mentors, our guides, our, our past over loved ones, our relatives, friends to give us, it's almost like our higher self in a way or our guides, give us these experiences to filter things out because that's the only way that they can do it because you are out of your body during that time when you are asleep, you're not in your body, you're not half listening, you are pretty much having the experience. And so you can then understand yourself more, if that makes sense. So dreams are a very powerful way to um, get the information that we need. And never stop dreaming <laughs> in this physical life, in in the dream state, um, you must always be dreaming, but never asleep. As the Tibetan, Tibetans say, that if you, if they go to sleep and they're not conscious, then they have died an unconscious death. That they are pretty much not conscious, and so they deem themselves as having a small death during that time. I don't believe that's true in a way. Um, there have been moments in my life where I've wanted to just fall asleep and not wake up because I've had a stressful time. You know, life experiences, um, friends, relationships, you know, work. Life, get, life happens. Um, it's how you deal with it itself. I um, just wanted to share that really, that, that experience that you get when you wake up in the morning and you know you've been somewhere and you may not remember everything, sometimes you do, sometimes you remember parts of it, 
But whatever it is, just be grateful that you've welcomed back to Earth, welcomed back into this body. No matter how life is bad right now or beautiful, it's this is an experience and the experience of living in this physical reality is just a temporary one. Um, and make the most of it. Welcome back to Earth. Coming back to Earth. And it's such a joy to share this with you because these are the things I often think about. And I thought, well, why don't I don't know, just talk about it and share it with you. So if you have anything to share, um, interact with me, comment. Um, yeah, just what is it like for you to come back into this space here in this physical world after dreaming? Um, thank you for listening and um, we'll speak again, I'm sure. Bye-bye.